This is Mrs. Zappia, Module 2, Lesson 13, Converting Between Fractions and Decimals Using Equivalent Fractions. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students understand that the context of a real-life situation often determines whether a rational number should be represented as a fraction or decimal. Students understand that decimals specify points on the number line by repeatedly subdividing intervals into tenths. Deci means one-tenth. Students convert positive decimals to fractions and fractions to decimal when the denominator is a factor of 10, 100, or 1,000. Our essential question, when writing a decimal as a fraction, how do you determine the value of the denominator? Example 1, representations of rational numbers in the real world. Describe why we need to know how to do represent rational numbers in different ways. Say a recipe calls for 2 and 75 hundredths cups of flour. Measuring cups are generally labeled with 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, etc. You would need to convert 2.75 to 2 and 3 fourths to add the correct amount of flour. Dollars are never measured as 1 sixth or 1 third of a dollar. Dollars are measured in decimal form using tenths and hundredths. Example 2. Using place value to write terminating decimals as equivalent fractions. What is the value of the number 2.25 and how can this number be written as a fraction or a mixed number? The value is 2 and 25 hundredths. To write the number as a fraction or a mixed number, you will use place value. The 2 is the whole number 2 and is the decimal. 25 hundredths is written as a fraction, where the number 25 is the number and the hundredths, which is the place value, is the denominator. And when you write it as a mixed number, you do not include the decimal. So it is simply 2 and 25 hundredths, and that is equivalent to 2.25. How do we rewrite fractions in simplest form? You divide by the common factor. So we'll take our 25 hundredths. We have 2 and 25 hundredths. And our greatest common factor is 25. 25 divided by 25 equals 1. And 100 divided by 25 equals 4. And the whole number is 2. So 2 and 25 hundredths is equivalent to 2 and 1 fourth. When you're determining the greatest common factor, you can list the factors of the number and find the greatest one in each list. So the factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. The factors of 100 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. And the greatest common factor is the factor that is the highest in both lists. And that's where the 25 came from. Rewrite the fraction in its simplest form, showing all the steps that you use. And that's what we just did. What is the value of the number 2.025? And how can this number be written as a mixed number? The value is 2 and 25 thousandths. And you determine the value by looking at the last digit and what place value it's in. 2 and 25 thousandths. So the 0 is in the tenths, the 2 is in the hundredths, and the 5 is in the thousandths. So you say 2 and 25 thousandths. To write that as a mixed number, the whole number is 2, the numerator is 25, and the denominator is the place value of the last digit, which is the thousandths. Rewrite the fraction in its simplest form, showing all the steps that you use. We're going to divide by the greatest common factor, which is 25. Your whole number is 2. 25 divided by 25 is 1. And 100 divided by 25 is 40. And so 2 and 25 thousandths is equivalent to 2 and 1 fortieth. Exercise 1. Use place value to convert each terminating decimal to a fraction. 
then rewrite each fraction in its simplest form. Pause the video while you do this exercise and then check your answers. Example 3. Converting fractions to decimals. Fractions with denominators having factors of only 2 or 5. What are decimals? Decimi decimals specify points on the number line by repeatedly subdividing intervals into tenths. If a unit is divided into ten equal sized pieces, one piece equals one tenth of that unit. Use the meaning of decimal to relate decimal place values. Each place value is one tenth of the value of the place to its left. This means that the denominators of the fractions that represent each decimal place value must be powers of 10. Write the number 3 hundredths as a decimal and describe your process. So 3 hundredths, we want to use our place value and we understand that the first place value is the tenths. The second place value after the decimal is the hundredths. And we have 3 hundredths. So the 3 will go in the hundredths place value. So the fraction 3 hundredths is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.03. Write the number 3 twentieths as a decimal and describe your process. For 3 twentieths, there is no place value for twentieths. So we need to write an equivalent fraction with a place value of either 10 or 100. So we will use 100 because 20 is a factor of 100 and we can rewrite 3 twentieths as hundredths. Our multiplier is 5, so we'll multiply the numerator by 5 as well and that gives us 15. And two, 3 twentieths is equivalent to 15 hundredths which is 0 0.15 where the last digit goes in the place value of the denominator. So these are the hundredths, and the five is the last digit, so the five goes in the hundredths place. Write the number 10 25ths as a decimal. 10 25ths. There is no place value of 25ths, so we'll rewrite it either using tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. 25 does not go evenly into 10. Then we try 100. 25 goes evenly into 100 four times, so our multiplier is 4. Multiply the numerator by 4 as well, and that is equivalent to 40 hundredths. So 10 25ths is equal to 40 hundredths, which is equal to 0 0.40. And we could also write that as 4 tenths. The first number, 0.40, that is equal to 40 cents or 40 pennies. And the second decimal, that's equal to four dimes. So it represents the same amount. Write the number 8 fortieths as a decimal and describe your process. For this one, 8 fortieths, you can check and see if you can write it as a place value of 10 in the denominator. And so could we simplify that? Well, 40 divided by 4 is equal to 10. And if you divide the numerator by 4 as well, you would get 2. So these are equivalent fractions. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then 2 tenths is written as 0 0.2. In this next section, convert each fraction to a decimal using an equivalent fraction. We are actually going to skip these problems and come back to them when we use long division. For 7 fifths, we can do that one easily because we can write that with a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000 easily. So this multiplier is 2 and 2. So we have 14 tenths. And that is equal to 1 and 4 tenths. This is the improper fraction, this is the mixed number. 1 and 4 tenths would be 1.4. 32 does not divide evenly into 10 or 100 or 1,000. So we'll use long division for that in the next lesson. For 35 fiftieths. 
you could see if you could write that as tenths. Well, you could divide by 5 and divide by 5, or you could just write it as hundredths. We'll do it both ways. Divide by 5 to get 10. Divide by 5 and you get 7. And 7 tenths is 0 .7, 0 0.7. The other way, which you may also think of as writing it as hundredths, use a multiplier of 2, use a multiplier of 2, and you get 70 hundredths and that would be 0 0.70. And remember that these are equivalent decimals. This first one, 0 0.7, is like having seven dimes, and this decimal is like having 70 pennies, so they represent the same amount. In this lesson, you have learned any terminating decimal can be converted to a fraction using place value. 0.35 is 35 hundredths, or 35 hundredths.